Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is, wherever you are. This is Gail of Gaia and this is Free Range. Well, that's a great way to start, isn't it? Well, anyway, uh, here we are today with another uh, great show with Mr. Drake Bailey. Here he comes on. Hi, Drake. How do? Oh, my goodness. Thank goodness you have sound. Everything sounds good. I'm going to wave at your wife in the background. <laughs> okay. Thank goodness. Um, I'm waiting for. Oh, you know you were having a show. Told you it was. <laughs> oh, I want to know. Tell her she's, she's welcome to come on if she wants to. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. Well, uh, yeah. Anyway, okay. Um, yeah. Christine is in the chat. Um, let me turn on my. Um, I'm gonna. I have. I have it set up to be. Or I did have it set up to be. Doesn't look like it is though. Um, hmm. Can't see anything that says this number. Yeah. Okay. Let it, it. I I need to let it run just a little bit because it's updating because there's a bunch of different uh, streams on here because it's it's pairing which is a new feature. So we'll just give it a little time. Um, hopefully we're being seen on. YouTube and, and so on. Mean, what's it, what does it mean? You mean the Kickstarter needs to be hit a couple times? Yeah, Pretty kind sure. of. <laughs> so oh, yeah, here we go. Time. Oh, good. Um, uh, Hopefully, now I'm going to have to. YouTube and, what, and so on. Mean, what, what does it mean? You mean the Kickstarter needs to be hit a couple times? <laughs> yeah, Pretty kind sure. of. So oh, yeah, here we go. Time. Oh, good. Okay. Um, now I'm going to have to mute the sound on this one. So hang on. Please bear with us, okay? Because this is on Telegram now, too, Drake. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> oh, I just yeah, don't know how to. Okay. Now I'm going to have to mute the sound on this one. So hang on. Please bear with us, okay? Because um, this is on Telegram now, too, Drake. Um, oh, okay. But I don't know how to turn off the sound. Now I'm going to have to mute the sound on this Start recording. Hang on. Please bear with us, okay? And video chat person. I don't know why this is. Oh boy, I don't know how to fix it right now. Hang on. I'm gonna close that down totally. <laughs> there. I don't know why this is. Oh boy. I don't know how to fix it right now. Okay, wait a minute here. I guess I have to. I'm gonna close that down totally. I have to close it down on my channel. Oh, boy. Oh, my gosh. Sorry, people. I guess I have to. Oh, technical difficulty. Yeah, really. I have to close Ah. Now, can you hear me? I can't hear you. Huh? Huh? Sorry. <laughs> Let's try to start this again. Okay. Wait a minute. It, that right there, you, you're fine right there. No background noise or nothing. Yeah. Well, what was happening was I was getting the sound. It was live streaming on Telegram, but it was, we were hearing it from here on here as well as on Telegram. And so, um, now, can you hear me right now, yeah. Doyle? Yeah. Yeah. You can oh, hear me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> sorry about the confusion it. here, um, but we're trying some new and different things, and that's just what happens. So, um, one of the things that we were... Um, where I don't I don't know where the dot connector went. She was here too, 
and now she's gone. I think her internet went wonky. First, this we didn't even know if we were going to have a show today. I was just going to tell people, uh, Drake, first of all, uh, Drake doesn't have any internet yesterday, so we didn't think we'd be able to have a show. But then his internet came out back on and, and, and told me that he had internet. Then I had internet this morning, and then by around noonish, all of a sudden I didn't have internet, so I wasn't going to be able to do the show with that way either. And right now the dot connector, so mine finally came in on back on in time to do the show. But then the dot connector, she's off, and she was here just a bit ago, and now she's probably gone because her internet's wonky. I don't know. Uh, anyway, so are you see, sure? Why do you wait until these happen? You think you could say it that out before she starts, uh, Mr. Uh, Dale Parks? No, I can't check <clears throat> it out before I did it. I did all that before, so you know, checking stuff out doesn't, doesn't help. We're, we're about as uh, technically, technically, you <laughs> Yeah, this isn't a professional studio, you know. It's kind of like trial and error with a lot of error. And uh, if you can't live with this, go to a different channel. You're a professional, uh, yes, indeed. <laughs> Oops. Uh-oh. I, I accidentally hit this one, but we can bring it up. Someone I don't know on Facebook sent... Uh, what is happening, and that is getting out on the Facebook. Yeah, That's not really... Okay. That's not really... Yeah, I'm going to go get a cup of coffee while you figure out what you're doing. I, I know what I'm doing, <laughs> basically, except for the. But go ahead if you want to go get a, a cup of coffee. Um, no we'll talk about. <laughs> I'm not going to say nothing about your technical expertise on air. Well, I tell you one thing: it's not any worse than yours. So well, the thing gotta... is, you, you, shouldn't, you shouldn't feel bad about it because I get the same problems. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> but you got a tech guy right and right that lives right near you. That helps a lot. <laughs> oh, okay. Dot connectors back back in the uh, good. Hi, hi, Christine. I'm glad you're back. <laughs> Drake is giving me a hard time. I need you here. <laughs> Helping me to give him a hard time back. But anyway, well, one of the things today, we were, we were going to sing the song, uh, What the World Needs Now is Love, Sweet Love, and so on and so forth. But uh, Drake didn't like the idea. Uh, <laughs> so we decided we'll, we'll uh, just carry on and uh, let him get his cup of coffee. And then he'll have to uh, tell us the rest of his story. Oh, okay. I see... We have an extra. There he is. My old self makes it. It just takes time now. <sighs> ah, okay. Well, we got. We're starting to get some questions already. <laughs> oh, we are. Uh, can yeah. You see it? Well, there's this one. Someone was asking about the Q phone, but if you had some, if you have any new intel or anything else. Um, Oh, Doc Connect is on the phone. Holy smokes. Okay. Uh, oh. So her internet is wonky, So she, but she's still here, so that's all good. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> I tell you, it, it's, it's just uh, amazing that we're even online at the moment with based wow. on everything that's going on. Uh, anyway, um, so what is um, blocked? I'm, how can you be blocked? Um, I don't get that. I'm blo blocked. Okay, I I'm sorry to be doing this while we're trying to do the show here, Drake. Do you have some intel you could give them while I'm trying to find out what's wrong with the dot connector? Because there's a problem. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with her. Our technical expertise sucks canal water. <laughs> you like to pick on us, don't you? Okay, okay. we're gonna, okay. We're, we're, yeah, we're gonna get, we're gonna get even. Okay, so anyway, um, the internet is yeah. wonky. It's been, mine's been off and on today, so I don't know. We could at any point in time go off too, for that matter. Well, so okay, what you got is is very simple, and uh, that is that the that there are going to be side effects for the things that ET is set up. Mm, it could be quite amazing. Now, I have likened them to an acid trip, Ooh. Uh, but it only lasts for like two, three minutes at the most. And you got that, um, uh, let's see, what is it? Uh, coronal mass ejection from the sun, it's supposed to be a nice bright spot. 
and a flashbulb effect from that. And so we got we got enough things going on in, in different directions that it, it could keep a wizard really busy. Uh oh. Gotta watch her when she goes through all the wiring. Uh, well, I'm answering somebody in chat, so just keep talking, Greg. Yes, dear. <laughs> if you have, you know, more information. It's a -like from the tactics. Uh -huh. <laughs> Q phones, somebody says. Yeah, Q phones. Um, <clears throat> but before we ever get to that, uh, we're going to get a uh, combination of things that uh, that will be rather, um, I don't know, to an extent disconcerting. One of them is the quantum banking system and the uh, total wipeout of what uh, we've had in the way of a banking system on this planet. Yeah, planet-wide stuff. Yes, indeed. Um, and what you what will happen is is very simple. Um, everything will be reduced to zero, <laughs> and transferred in the process to the quantum system. Now, this is a cloud-like said cloud like i didn't say it was the cloud like the cloud except it's bulletproof can't nobody get in your account but you and uh i think i think that's really nice you're totally secure and you can operate that thing similarly to what you have in the way of banking presently okay so it's not going to be uh, something that's totally obtuse, totally different. You can't, yeah, I wonder which end is up. And it's, it's like that question. I don't know. How, how do you program a VCR? You know, one of those numbers. And <laughs> it's going to give some people some um, <clears throat> ulcers. I'm sure. <laughs> because it won't, well, if you don't do it right, it ain't going to cooperate. And it'll tell you that. It speaks to you. <laughs> you will have a direct communication with your banking account. Now, if, that, if that ain't uh, cool, I don't know what is. At any rate, then, uh, then as that after that is up and running, uh, we're going to get a uh, part of the communications system, uh, which are key phones. Now, you got to understand that uh, um, there are a lot of things that people don't understand. I see one of them is the uh, uh, Pakistan one third underwater. Well, <laughs> oh yeah, I was going to put that up. Okay, let me put it yeah. up. Pakistan is one third underwater with sewage and some areas, and is asking if it was do weapons. What do you know about it, Drake? Okay, well, it um, doesn't have very much to do with uh, um, what people think in terms of flooding and all this stuff. What it has to do is that I asked ET to reset the weather systems to what they used to be. Well, we were supposed to uh, graduate um, from where we're at to uh, the 1950s in terms of valuation and a few other things. That's where the that's how the new currency can uh, accrue so much value so quickly. Very simple. Has gold backed, among other things, but it is also a basket currency. The gold backing part is so that it can be traded internationally with other countries and individuals. <laughs> so says, Does that mean we won't have to yeah. remember so many passwords to get into our various accounts? Oh, yeah. I don't have that many accounts, but when they make you change your password all the time, it really is annoying. <laughs> So I still, I'm still having, I can't get into blog talk, uh, uh, to do my show. They screwed the password up and I can't get the thing to work. But anyway, what's this? Oh, yeah, somebody asked me about your show and I thought maybe it was because of the internet. And well, I'm so going I'm gonna, I'm gonna to fight with the internet, uh, and blog talk and whoever else gets in the way tonight after this show. So, okay. I, what about I, I, the, are the, is a Tesla phone and the Q phone the same thing, or is that two different no. animals? Okay. No, Tesla thinks he's got got the world by the whatevers, and they don't. Okay, is that um? You, you, okay, you know, 
Not to degrade the guy or denigrate. Are you talking speaking. about Elon? Yeah. Okay. That's where that's where the Tesla stuff comes from. So uh, anyway, one of his uh, illustrious engineers thought they had a better idea, and he found out that it don't work. <laughs> <Oops>. <laughs> what about this? This is an interesting little question that came up. We will have a program. Will we have a program like YouTube? I've downloaded a lot of YouTube videos and wondered if I can watch them again after the changeover. Cool. Yes. Oh, so that won't be a problem. Uh, the, new YouTube, the new YouTube is going to be on uh, ET's technical uh, level. So you won't have to worry about the fun and games, gobbledygook, and, you know, oh my God, they took my video down. Well, you know, I don't have to worry about all that. That is going to be a thing of the past. People are going to have freedom of speech. Now, here's the problem with this. So long as uh, the advocacy, whatever speech you put out, doesn't include um, death to certain ethnic groups or uh, individuals or uh, things of that nature. And if you're nice about it and you don't call nobody no um, <laughs> sensitive names, um, then you can get away with just about anything. Well, this okay. is interesting. Okay. T-Mobile announced that it'll be connected to Starlink. I didn't know that. That's interesting. I don't have yeah. my, I have a son that has T-Mobile, um, but I don't, I didn't like them myself. Well, you're going to get your own hand up with it. If you want to, if you want to uh, have true full communications, that thing operates uh, sort of like Skype internationally or whatever. So what Starlink are you talking about? Yeah. Okay. Only it's a t like you're making a telephone call or we're having this conversation or however you want to look at it. Mm. <laughs> okay, let's see what else we got. Hi. Mm. What's this one here? What's that? It's going to triple digits here in California until the 5th of September. You Are you referring to the heat? Yes. Because it's pretty... Uh, I have about three to four days of it. It's already cooled down here in the east. Here's another one. Um, would you explain the three days of darkness and the falling asleep? We talked about that somewhat last time, but I guess it bears well, repeating. If yeah, don't well, get it's it. pretty. It's pretty simple. Um, it may not be full three full days, first of all, but the uh, time of darkness is a time when communications, when uh, your, um, um, oh, let's see, how can I, your consciousness is not connected to the, to the reality that we pr presently have, you know, like this desk and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And that will all change to a point where you'll have the, you'll come up to it and it'll go flash like a flash bulb. And bingo, 40. Ooh. I can't wait. I'm ready. <laughs> we will be moving away from, will we be moving away from phones and computers to glass pads and holographic tech? Uh, sort of. If you know what a holographic screen is, then you can understand it. You've seen that on um, Star Trek. Uh, Star Wars. Huh? On Star Wars? Where, where, where she's oh, bending down on the ground and, yeah, and talking to eat. Um, that was just some of it. That was just some of it. Okay. Um, away from phones and computers to glass pads and holographic tech. Holographic tech is where you get a complicated computer screen and it, and it just show up and you punch in the buttons to it and go from there. Oh, that's so cool. That sounds really yeah. neat. I, that, I like it. Wow, it's okay. got to be better than this old clunky keyboard I got. Yeah, I can relate. <laughs> Here's a question for you. Will the current astrology still apply in 4D and 5D, such as personality traits common to Aries or whatever the sign is? Uh, yes, because you can't, the process doesn't destroy the planetary relationship 
and look up music of the spheres <laughs> to get the mathematics. Um, basically, what it does is it puts puts it into a realm that is easy to use and understand. Now, I'm gonna shut up right there. Hmm. You told me to. <laughs> Okay, I'm just checking to see if there's any questions that I miss. Do a mother another interview with David Wilcox. Um, hmm. <laughs> oh, what's that, Drake? Will you ever? Oh, I guess I can put that up there. I don't know, Drake. Will you ever do another interview with David Wilcock? Um, I'm looking forward to it on one condition that we do it on this show. <laughs> That would hey, be, fun. be fun. That would be fun. I, I haven't did, seen I anything from David for a while. Well, I, had, I did one show that was uh, about lawful and unlawful orders. And you get the highest hits of any show ever done. On really? Here. Wow. Yep. Well, how many military have we got all around the world? That's first. They're Number two. Around. How many other people would be interested in that very thing, such as uh, civilian police, fire, etc.? Okay. Number three, how many individuals want to know what's going on to the point where they would listen to it as well? <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow. I got three quarters of a billion hits on that. Wow. Oh. Yeah, wow. Well, That's what I said. <laughs> Let's see. I had to go on, yeah. radio. I had to go on radio shows and answer for myself. It says, how about inviting Kara Cassidy? I've I've been on um, interviewed by Kara Cassidy, and I've interviewed Kara Cassidy in probably, geez, it's over a year now. Um, I'm going to ask her. That's not out of the realm of possibilities, but um, she's very knowledgeable. And um, How come we give her in? Let me see. What's trying to <laughs> let's see if I think of this one. With the earth spinning yeah. how come the big dipper is in the same spot out my bedroom window and really how does that work with astrology <laughs> good okay, question well, let, me, let me ask you a question what's your location what well, i think she's in washington the state of washington state of washington the earth is flat the stars and planets are frequencies really I think the whole thing's imaginary, but that's just me. With ears spinning, how come the Big Dipper is in the same Ornish. spot out my bedroom window? And really, how does that work with astrology? Okay, uh, you're you, this planet, figure figure over eight thousand miles per hour, spin. Then you got the thing going through space. Uh, you add the two together, and you create a, a vortexical reactants and that's what you're seeing ha, ha. go figure that one out well, say that word again for technical reactants for technical reactants so it's a vortex no no so well, what's vortex for than a, a, reactants than, i can't say than it. Than a reactants i'm talking about you're i'm talking about a side effect it makes it seem like the thing's in the same place when it really isn't. <laughs> okay. As long as on the third, because of the oh. How long do people need to be prepared for food shortages until replicators will be delivered? Oh, I don't know. Uh, anywhere from a few weeks. Depends on where you are, what the situation is, and whether or not ET is aware of uh, the uh, impacts that certain things are going to have. And the thing about it is that uh, I would suggest, and this is my suggestion, anywhere from three weeks to a year. Depends on where you're at, how easy it is to get to and from you. Now, what you got to remember is that when we come out of 3D, uh, there's going to be a very heavy reaction weather-wise suddenly. It only lasts for, about, for a few hours even, uh, maybe a day if that. And when that happens, you might not have a road or an airport or whatever to get to and from. So that's why I suggest that you have stuff on hand. Okay. Oh, okay. 
Well, like there was something else here that I saw. No, um, no have, wait a minute. Have you heard? Well, that's a different one. I, I, I haven't, so maybe you know this one. Where did it go? What? Um, here. I was looking for this question. Have you heard of the mark of Janus? J N U S. A uh, yeah. Diffin? If so, what does it mean? You need to what look it up. It? You need what to look it, it up. You need to look it up. I could care less. Well, I can't help you then. Or okay. won't. Well, well somebody way. else can. Somebody yeah. else can look it up. Somebody, somebody, out, somebody out there needs to somebody out there needs to look that up so that uh, she can have the definition. Now the only problem with the definition is that it takes the the better part of a textbook, textbook for the definition. Oh, okay. Somebody is asking me what type of water I drink. And I'll tell you this. <laughs> this is called Wata. And um, I don't, I, I do drink it, but it, I'm not an affiliate with them. They don't do that sort of thing. But if you do choose to purchase some, Please tell them that you heard about it from me. I'd appreciate that. Maybe then I can talk them out of a bottle or two or something. I don't know. <laughs> but it's only fair. So, yeah, and uh, it's 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 electron charge, and it's fifth phase water, which is uh, water that has uh, um, a gas that's infused into it that's fifth phase. And so it's much more readily absorbed than any other water. So, anyway, enough on that. And I, like I said, I don't sell it and I don't, um, I don't even have affiliate link with them. But if you do do it or try it, tell them where you found out about it. <laughs> oh, I got it. There's yeah. one here that uh, talks about uh, uh, deep state putting a bomb on the moon. What? Oh, so my goodness. Says. Wait a minute. Here we go. Let me put it up there. Okay. Did the deep state put a bomb on the moon? Will that affect the earth if detonated? I'm sure it would. I mean, you can't you know, detonate I'm, something yet right. that you ain't got. And ET collected that mother and dissected it. And uh, the people that did the dissection uh, started laughing out loud. And I, I, I heard it. It was that loud. There was a whole bunch of them just laughing their butts off. And I asked them what's going on. And they told me they took that bomb apart. I said, oh, no. And they said, oh, yeah. I said, uh, now you can see why it's so hilarious. Firecrackers, indeed. Mm -hmm. Let me see here. Blow up cricket factories. <laughs> oh, they're starting to put crickets in food without telling people. But if you look down the ingredient list, I mean, it's hor horrific. I mean, I don't want to eat crickets. I'm sorry. So um, stay away from processed foods if you can. Um, yeah, it's a no no. Wow. Uh oh, What's dot connector. Da -da. Oh, did she ask a question? Did I miss it? Uh, let's see. Would Drake advise me to change my plans for major road trips in October? Um, well, here's the thing. You're in the last month now before the, before the uh, transition. So you may not get to the point where you want to make a road trip. Oh, she got back in. Okay. I'm here. <laughs> she had to fight Gail off to get in. <laughs> she did not. <laughs> You're a troublemaker, Drake. Oh, <laughs> He's yeah. lying. He's dying, Dr. Connector. You know. Hey, I like that. Anyway. I like that. Uh, Let's see. Oh, there's a, a right above the one that you just. <laughs> okay. Uh, Doc Connector wants you to sing the song. <laughs> What the world needs now is love, sweet love. <laughs> you didn't see it, huh? Okay. Well, well anyway, well, Die Connector had asked, wanted us to sing the song "What the World Needs Now" because that's what the title of our show was. Oh. What what we need now with Drake Bailey and Gail Gaia. So we were gonna say, "What the world needs now is love, sweet love," and that's why. Love, we were sweet love. <clears throat> there you go. Keep going. Come on, come on, more. <laughs> hey, Drake and Sting. Anyway, okay. Next question. Drake, last night, just before midnight, I was outside having a smoke. I seen a huge red light in the sky here in Queensland, Australia. I went to get my iPad to take a picture, but 
it, it was, was gone. gone. What was it? <laughs> Some of our friends playing games. <laughs> That's okay. the first part of way that I thought was neat. Okay, here's another one. What is the time frame of the global currency reset? Uh, about the same time as the quantum banking system goes into effect. That should be sometime this month. I had a hope. Oh, wow. Because when that happens, all of the finance people that have been doing the nasty things with their money lose all their money. Woo! You oh, that'll see. be fun, Okay. <laughs> They're going, is the military preparing for civil unrest to happen during the EBS because of the overturning of the 2020 selection? Yes. Uh, they're looking at it seriously, and the reason they are is because Biden's got a big mouth, and he likes to say a lot of things that he doesn't have any clue about. Uh, time for a cold currency. Oh, Let me see. <coughs> wow. What's going to happen to all medical workers? Okay, here's here's one for you. What's going to happen to all of us medical workers after the med bed comes out? Well, you're going to be the technician on the med beds. What do you think? You, you you think you're going to get let off light? You get to deal with masses at their finest. You know, uh, dirty underwear and all. <laughs> These people have changed bedpans. I know they have. More of a reason. I always work in I just. Uh, mm, mm. <laughs> oh, anyway, you're going to be. Uh, okay, let's see. You're going to be involved with the med beds directly. Number two, you're going to be schooled in eat high level ET technical uh, medicine, and as your schooling goes along, you can go along. This going to be okay. fun. Oh, Soul, okay. Soul says, I'm excited about taking classes in 4D. What can I expect? What can my semi-awake college student expect? What about my mom, who is frail and barely walking? How can we help those who are asleep? Well, forget the people that are asleep. They'll wake up when the alarm clock goes off now. Uh, <laughs> what about my mom, who is frail, barely walking? Um, most of these people are like, between 70 and 90 or 70 and 100 or thereabouts like me mm -hmm. and um, the med bed will restore that person now i want you to consider a real simple equation thousand years dun, 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 dun. if you take a thousand years what part of 78 years makes that up you're going to turn it she's going to turn into a kid again <laughs> I can live with that. Okay. <laughs> I'm, ex well, I'm excited about the 40 class. What can I expect? Okay. All of the things that you um, were suspicious about and all of the things that everybody has uh, poo-pooed and said, no, no, no. And all of, and most of the things that they said, you can't do that, is what will be explained to you uh, as far as you want to go in terms of detail. It's up to you about that. Okay. Okay. Or you want to some more. Okay. What can my semi awake college student expect? Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see what this one. I think I missed this one. Will the people just go, go to sleep wherever they are? Like what no. if they're driving down the road or eating a meal? They just go <laughs> sunk out. <laughs> that sounds messy. You'd be driving down the road with breakfast in his in his on a console and, and go to sleep. I mean, you know, I hope your eggs are scrambled and not over easy. <laughs> talking about messy. Um, no, uh, people will uh, go back to their normal routine until such time as they go to sleep. Then they may not wake up for two, two days or something or three. Okay? And then they'll wake up and they go, whew, things is really different. I can feel it. I can taste it. I can smell it. Woo. <laughs> Okay, let's see what else we got going on here. Let me see if I can find another question. Oh, here's a good one. I, I meant to put this one up. Oh. The, will the transition wipe the hard drives on our PCs and other tech if we 
if so, we can do anything to protect our hard drives. You don't need to have protect. Extension. You're not going to have your systems uh, very much longer. After the after you go through the uh, transition, uh, you get everybody gets new communications devices and as we call them PCs. Quantum level. Ooh. They're just going to provide them to everybody. Yeah. ET or are they being manufactured on the planet okay. now? ET. We don't need to manufacture stuff. ET's already got it made. All we got to do is help them unload the mothership. Wow. Will the air, land, and ocean be cleaned with the solar flare, or will that happen with the ET? Or is new there te new technology after? Um, combination. Depends on what it is that needs to be cleaned. But <clears throat> the air, land, and sea are... Um, sentient think about this now beings and they know who's done who's taking a dump in their mess kit one of the things they'll tell ET and ET go snatch them up by the um, <clears throat> whatever um, it'll happen you can clean some of it some of the minor stuff as fast as the solar flare or and or you're going to have Longer term problems such as the plastics. And uh, anybody wants to look at the plastics? Look up nanoplastics. It's in all the fish you eat and most of the animals you eat and most of the plants you consume. The stuff, it's everywhere. It's like Santa Claus is everywhere. Yeah, you know, uh, one of those things. Uh, it's not nice. Uh, plasticization of uh, living cells is a big no no in ED medical circles. So they will probably remedy that. <laughs> Would. Boy, oh boy. Okay. Let's see. Will. Oh, okay. We asked that one already. Okay. Where did you do? Let's see what's next. Um, next. Okay. Let's see what else we got going on here. Uh, what's this one here? Drake, I forgot one or about the date is for the transition to start. Well, we, we, we're going to be careful about those dates. Uh, Trey, yeah. Tim, Trey, it was 11-3, and E.T. told me it was switched to 10-3. So it's 30 days. I, you know, you're close. That's somewhere around there. It's supposed to be the absolute end date of the, of the uh, happening. So it could be sooner or later in between. <laughs> is it is it the result of something that ET will do, or is it the result something the sun will do? No, this is this, what the will make this happen. The transition is a, a combination of things that is that are so complex. I don't want to try to describe them, but uh, I'll give you a heads up as to what it is. Uh, everybody knows about the evolutionary process. That's similar to what we are going to experience, only this is on a cosmic basis. <laughs> we get to zing along in our spaceships and, and watch the moon change color. Well, someone <laughs> is... <laughs> well, okay, here's well, another one for you. Um, asking, I would like to be a blonde, but blue eyed with long legs and a tiny waist instead of dark hair, dumpy and short legged. Can I manifest this or am I stuck in this body? Uh, <clears throat> you would have to go before the medical board and um, ask them about it. That's, uh, that's, that's as much as I really am free to say about that. But yes, it's possible. <laughs> Well, we hey, see. I asked, I asked him if I could be bulletproof, and he said, "Sure, but you won't feel nothing." I said, "No, no, 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 can't have that." I like it when my wife tickles me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, well, we see people that have passed after this transition in five D. Uh, uh, maybe the uh, best thing to do on that is to um, uh, wait until you transition to five D and request audience. Request, you know, hey, dad, hey, uh, 
Uncle Smurf or whoever it is, come on down, man. We're having we're having a party down here on Earth. And he'll go, really? And I said, yeah. Uh, it's, it, it'll be fun. Let's put it that way. Rick well, wants a bigger shoe it. size. <laughs> now, here's the thing. Uh, somebody that has <laughs> uh, physically died and gone to the next dimension knows everything that took place in that dimension. So uh, if you weren't a good little boy, uh, they're liable to tell you all about it. Hmm. Okay, here's speak. another one for you. To help us understand where we are going <laughs> in the next few years, is there a movie or movies you would recommend? Um, if you want to understand the, the concept of what we're going to experience, see contact. You want to read these... These great big things come come to Earth, all over the Earth, and just one lady figures it out and takes care of business, and it's great. And that gives you the, that will give you the um, basis for a combination of the morality, that's one, and the science involved in it, where science, the uh, physical acts that we're used to, actually become an ideology. <laughs> that you can uh, play games with. So are you talking about the movie Contact with Jodie Foster? Jodie Foster? No. Oh, you're, you're talking about a different oh, that's a new one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, Arrival. That's the name of it. Arrival. Excuse me. Not Contact. Oh, okay. I screwed it up. I made a mistake. Oh, my God. Write it down. You might not get another chance of getting, getting me. Oh, I don't know. I got a pretty long list here. <laughs> You know what you can do it yourself. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, you. <laughs> okay. Here, here's, 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 here's a killer question. What will you do if the transition doesn't occur by 10-3-2022? Very simple. I have informed ET that we have enough warriors to start Civil War II and that that will be the answer to that question, if they don't perform as they have said they would do. So somebody's <laughs> going to be in big trouble, right? You're talking 100,000 people down here that are experts on, on battlefields that have combat experience, that have been fully uh, sometimes uh, trained further than what they were supposed to be. I wasn't supposed to be trained near where I am, and yet I did it. I, I got there anyway. And what was funny was, um, the the person that the, had the high high jinx uh, wood bang uh, clearance told me he said, "Oops." <laughs> oh yeah. <clears throat> what you gonna do? <laughs> in short, he got it caught in his zipper. Okay, I think we've answered this before, but um, <laughs> has the reincarnation trap run by the regressors been taken down? No. It hasn't? Um, no, no, no. The, um, no the a lot of people are saying it has. Hold on a minute. Why. The regressives don't have anything to say about that. They'd like to, but they don't. What's interesting is that the, it's not a trap, but a choice, and you have to be offered the choice. If you're not offered the choice, it takes no effect. You can, you're not forced. So therefore, uh, the trap, well, <laughs> I think I just sprung it. <laughs> hmm. Hmm, yeah. I am part of an... Um, about a, a reincarnation or an incarnation program that is run by ET and the people that run it are really sharp. Well, I don't like the whole idea really in some ways, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. Okay. Well, we no. lost that connector again. Are we just waking up from the physical reality and restoring to our oversoul? Uh, sort of. 
<laughs> that happens at the transition more than any other thing. You wake up and you go, holy moly, <laughs> what's this? This is there's something different, and I don't know what it is. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go fool around in the kitchen and find out what it is. Uh huh. Go in the kitchen, and try to make coffee after after that. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Will people with autism be healed by the med, med beds? All of the major problems that people have of that type will be taken care of. Okay? All of them. It's cancer. That's one of them. Let's see. Where are we at here? <laughs> oh, Oh boy, there's somebody talking about people being coming naked on a stage. Oh, well, I didn't see that one yet. Okay, I'm trying to. Will unnatural items disappear with the solar flares, such as plastic containers, uh, and maybe your underwear and other things, and you don't know it? That's going to be fun to watch to see how they come, depending on who it is you get to see, that is. Yeah, well, that was this, this question. That question there about will items disappear? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Uh, what about, oops, wait a minute, I hit the wrong. What about oops? I don't know about what oops. What about oops? <laughs> it says no, no wasps and the mosquitoes. <laughs> all, of the, all of the things that are useless, and by that I mean do not produce something, uh, will disappear in terms of animals and bugs and things of that nature. The microbes that we've been told that we have had so many of, they weren't there to begin with. And so it'd be fairly easy to get rid of them. <laughs> wow. Um, okay, deceased loved ones returning. Any truth to that? If so, like since what years? Um, that's kind of we already sort of answered that with a different question. But um, well, when you when you transition, when somebody goes through death into another dimension, and like I'm in 3D and you're talking to somebody in 4D, you can talk to them and have a perfectly normal conversation like I'm talking to y'all right now. And very simply, if they're uh, astute, the individual you're talking to is astute at all, and most of them are, uh, you can uh, just about guarantee that they know everything that went on in the time that they were here. So, they, you know, they can say, well, I don't need to... <laughs> I remember stuff about you and he's little and I bet you don't want to remember. You know, I said, I said, you're right. You're right. <laughs> well, we still have to pay property tax. Well, if you got property, I guess no. I don't have property tax. Cause I don't, uh, no, you what you gonna have have anyway, that was illegal. Long time ago. <laughs> what you're going to have a new financial system that precludes that sort of uh, idiocy. You already paid for it once, why so keep paying for it? Here's another question. Mental disorders, will they be helped by the med beds? Oh, absolutely. Everything that, uh, you know, if you're some kind of a ding, 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 or whatever, uh, you can be all the digging you want. You can be all the funny you want. You can be all the under underdeveloped that have come out. And yet all these things, all of a sudden, sort of have a tendency to mitigate. Now, not necessarily instantly, but over a period, small period of time, and I don't mean very long, all these things go away. Now, it would be nice if my uh, retarded son, uh, whom I adopted, would uh, be able to uh, talk to me like I'm talking to you guys right now. We converse, and that's a mystery. Because we did, we had a conversation in front of the uh, speech therapist. Lost it. Well, we got the we got the better guy. He brought in a, a super duper. He couldn't get it. Well, if you don't know how to listen with perception, you don't get it. Now, mental disorders. Well, nine times out of ten, and I'll let you know this up front. You're shy of some kind of uh, mineral vitamin or some such in your uh, system. And that causes, like I said, 90%, 90%. Uh, the other 10% uh, 
are created by uh, anomalies in the way things are wired. The med beds fix that as well. So enjoy. <laughs> All will be good. Oh, I'm telling you, this is going to be, this is be you, you talk about something, they'll think this is a golden age when it hasn't even got here yet. Golden age starts in 5D, guys. Woo. <laughs> so learn the classes in 4D and get through them. The quicker we can have a big crowd ready, you know, chomping at the bit, ready to go, go, go. So what, can, what, what should people be doing right now to help make that happen? To help, uh, okay. Number one, eat uh, decent food. That precludes all of your preparation horse manure uh, <laughs> that's out there. 90% of it ain't fit for human consumption. <clears throat> According to their standards, not mine. <clears throat> the reason I live up here where I do in the mountains is that they don't believe in chemicals. You want to shoot their cow up with something, they'll have to shoot at you with a gun. Uh, <laughs> they don't believe in artificial, artificial nutrients. Now that's the chemi chemistry that goes on uh, cornfields and stuff a lot. Okay. Therefore, and this is the, the key to this, you get free range grass fed animals. It don't matter if you're eating mutton or beef or whatever, you get free range uh, goodies. On, on all of that, okay? The second part of it is they don't put chemicals like crazy on the plants that they grow. You want sweet corn that tastes like the sweet corn you had when you was a kid, and the the ear is so big around, you could you almost you could use it for a telescope. Oh, and it's so sweet and so tender, you don't, in some cases, you ain't even got to cook it. And you don't want to put butter on on that. Uh, I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, uh, uh -huh. so the stuff that the store gets, if it's funky, and some one of them little old ladies will try it, and if the cat turns her nose up at it, and nobody will buy it, and you get a whole uh, section in the meat department, it just sits there. <laughs> nobody will get the stuff. It's very simple. So consequently. Um, I eat a lot of what they have up here. Now, I do not, unless you're used to the idea, um, recommend getting possum belly on your pizza. And yes, I have seen pizza parlors that advertise that they have possum belly if you really got to have it. Mm. Mm. Well, I, don't, I don't eat possum, so I don't have no clue. I think they're ugly, nasty. I think but it they're does, not. does, yeah. Okay, yeah. anyway, that's a whole other story. Oh, okay, here's a question for you. Um, are they planning a scary event worse than 9-11? Is the event really going to cause harm against humanity here in the U.S. or just another false flag? Operation Blue Beam. You will comply to resist this futile. I mean, you heard all that stuff. Well, they got to have, first of all, they got to have clouds. Secondly, they got to have a willing populace that wants to believe some kind of <clears throat> stuff like that. Uh, would you believe a big voice speaking out of the clouds going, thou shalt get on your knees, Nate? And I don't think so. I think they had enough uh -huh. of that. <laughs> so, uh, no. Okay, here's what will happen in Mexico? Everything changes all over the whole planet, not just Mexico, all of North and South America and Central America changes. And all of the, all of the um, things that people have uh, had in the past change with it. Society, governance, finance, and more. So they, these are drastic changes. And I mean, when I say drastic, I mean drastic. Uh, I mean something so drastic it'd make a, a uh, earthquake look mild. Hmm. Oh, she's digging. Uh oh, yeah. <laughs> I was trying to answer uh, 
Someone said they had a question sent to me an email, um, and I'm, you know, my internet was off most of the day, so I haven't had a chance to even go through all of that, so I can't really do that question. Now, when you say sensitive, if it's something that would censor my channel, I can't ask it. Um, so, but I'm not sure what you're referring to, but I'll look for it. Oh boy, there's okay, one here's from Kyle here. Do you our guardian, guardian angels stay with us in 5D? Yes, they got it. The guardian angels' responsibility is to see to it that you get the smoothest uh, trip possible in terms of transition it's from three to four. I'll, they'll soothe your fears and say. It's all right, man. Just cool it. Watch this. Do I push a button and you go, Well, oh, that's cool. I, yeah, well, now I teach you how to push the button that isn't there. Ooh, and you go, Yeah, that's not okay. In 5D, it gets even it goes even further. So what you need to do is prepare your mind and your uh being and your beliefs to a system that is <clears throat> real. You'll find out what that is when uh, at the transition. I ain't gonna say no more. <laughs> okay, here's a question. People in Mexico don't have the money to prepare uh for a year of food. What will happen to poor people? Well, think about that for everywhere. Think about the people in the city who don't know how to grow a, a bean. I mean, you've got a serious uh problem, and the problems are uh deadly if you let them be that way now i don't uh like to play games with food shortages because it ain't a game if you don't eat uh, believe me I've, I've gone without food for a week i've gone without water for three and a half four days in the highlands the mountains of vietnam it gets 130 in a shade oh you just love that what will happen to the poor people? Well, the um, people that live in the area that would be most affected, all right? And by that, I'm saying in Vietnam, as an example, they were used to that stuff. So here's what we got to look, look for. We have to look for the situation to be able to be answered before the situation occurs. That's futurism. Futurism is real nice. You already got a can of beans when you need one or whatever it may be. And it goes from there. The people that would starve to death ain't going to go hungry. Put it there. Okay. Okay. I would just like to mention this one um, about Jim Warren. He, we've been using his pictures. I've been able to use them with his permission. And they're beautiful pictures. And the picture that we have behind uh, Drake and I right now is called what the world needs now and mm -hmm. it's a simple message for a complicated world um and uh, jim is an amazing artist if you haven't looked him up go ahead and look him up anyway okay okay now what now let's see what's next here uh oh oh we said that one already sorry uh -huh. next next and we did that one Will we fly around in 5D? <laughs> Wait a minute, that was supposed to come up. That's what somebody asked. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, sure. uh, you can, yes. But you got, you're going to have to be schooled as to how to do that. Because if you don't, if you ain't schooled, you're going to bump your head on the, on the concrete on the, on the porch and the roof when you get, when you, oh, no, we need to go up. Now, uh, Avatar is a good movie to watch while he was being trained. He had that poor dragon flying upside down. Oh, fly straight. Oh, my God. You know, <laughs> it was hilarious. So. Somebody's asking, will Amazon and Walmart eventually be gone? They hurt so many small businesses. Yeah. Um, they flourished while they put ever, all the small businesses out of business. Amazon and Walmart will become distribution centers for small business. How's that grab you? Ha <laughs> ha. Hmm. I wasn't supposed to tell that one, but I did it anyway. And ET probably will smack me down for it sometime or another. <laughs> you haven't lived until you've had somebody like Brian Thor get in your face and go, what is the matter with you? But, 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 but. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> oh, you've talked to Valiant Thor? Yes. That's all I can say. That's all I can say. You can ask all you want, but that's all I can say. Um, well, like, what if I asked, how is he doing? <laughs> Good. Okay. And you didn't even say anything, huh? <laughs> Can't say okay. anymore. Can't say anymore. Okay. Well, the flash blow out the shit chips in our cars. I'm no. No? You're not going to have, look, you're not going to have damage to, to things as you're, what you're going to have is uh, the offer of a replacement for the things that are outdated. All of the things you're familiar with, such as chips, for instance, or whatever, are going to be almost instantaneously outdated. Do you realize how many computers, desktops, and whatnot they're going to have to come up with? Uh, smartphones uh, to, you know, replace the pieces of junk that you got that don't work anymore. Ooh. Wow. You talking about I, I gave you a job, I'll give you a good job. You're gonna get to operate the forklift from the mothership to uh, West Texas. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yes, indeed. Okay, I think I have a Oh boy! So, oh, here's somebody else asking. We've asked this before, and I think that you know, I would. Mm, are we better like off to money. keep our money in the bank or take it out as cash? We take it out as cash on a regular basis. Now uh, we got one here in the chat. It says, "Question: uh, Well and lively with Land Ray or something like that." Maybe Question. Awesome. How do we know what are friendly ETs versus U.S. military or negative ETs? Well, first of all, U.S. military is uh, angle qualified. Number two, there's a little proof. And the proof is the interaction between you and the ET. You'll know what I mean when, when, I, how, when you need to know. That's the neat part about this, what you really need to know to protect yourself, to make sure that your loved ones are safe, people you care about, like I care about Gail, uh, are, are not going to be harmed by some kind of uh, <laughs> vampire who wants to bite you on the neck, you know, uh, that sort of crap. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, they're real. and Yeah, they con are. <laughs> consequently, how do we know what are friendly ETs versus the bad ones? Um, first of all, when you go to, when you transition from three to four, you become intuitive. And that means that you can tell what somebody's intent, purpose, and what they want to do is all about long before you get close to them even. Okay. So they're going to be at a great disadvantage in that respect. <laughs> And wow. every person, each and every one of us podunks out here is going to be able to tell what they're up to before they get to where, where they're going. Wow. What does E.T. do for fun? Do they oh, have fun? boy. Um, well, they dance, play music. Uh, oh, and there, <laughs> there are some of the best jokesters as far as laugh-in or some kind of comedy club goes that you've ever, ever come across. And um, can you imagine, mm -hmm. I want you to imagine this, you gotta, you gotta keep your, your, your thoughts together. Think about a roller coaster ride that's unlimited. Won't hurt you, but it's unlimited. Scare the mm out of you, but it won't hurt you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, now you begin to get, you know, you know. Think about a um, uh, a pool slide that don't have any ending. I don't even know how to say that one, Drake. <laughs> is a dodecahedron. No, the power source is the uh, tetrahedron because it's the original uh, four-sided triangle. Everybody can go look that up. That would really keep you busy. If you form an equilateral triangle, and then you replicate it. So that you got one, two, and a, and a third one on this side over here. The bottom becomes a side two. And you just created four sides from three. Mm-hmm. Whoops. 
Uh, yeah, you're, you, you can puzzle about it. Now, think about a triangle. My hand just doesn't make a very good fit anyway. And put another one up against it so that they lean against it. These are equilateral triangles. And you create on this side over here another one. That's three. Ever hear of a four-sided triangle? Look up at the look up the tetrahedron in the ancient um, archives. What? 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 Okay. Will what? we be healed by the transition? All illness gone? Most of it. Not like ninety-nine percent is gone. There's going to be some special cases where you need extra things and all that, but uh, mostly yes. Uh oh. Okay, so, so, so the, the justice came out. They'll be flying those hover, hover cars around. Do you, what do you think about that? Is there a truth to I that? Think it's I think it's absolutely true. Why I heard, you I heard David Wilcock was involved in making those cars. Um, not exactly. Not exactly. Okay. Uh, he, he took my designs and uh, fabricated some things and put some other things together uh made a 3d what uh what you call it out of it and uh he thought it was a good idea and he had some ideas he wanted to add to it and that's where it went okay here's somebody we, we need to clarify it's not violent thor it's valiant thor yeah valiant thor he's not violent but his military man is a oh he's a real mother <laughs> yeah oh he is Valiant Thor, the one who saved President Kennedy, yes. <laughs> He's all, he also met with uh, Eisenhower. And if you look online, and you got to look this up. Uh, if you look online, you can find that uh, interview that they had together, part of it. The rest of it is classified. But hmm. it, uh, you know, and he still looks the same today as he did way back then. <laughs> yeah, isn't that interesting? Um, mm -hmm. He spent quite a bit of time at the Pentagon, too, as I understand it, in the 50s. Um, okay, are shapeshifters real? Yes. Okay. I can shift um, my shape. All I got to do is adjust my appetite. I quit eating and my belly goes down. <laughs> it kind of works that way for most people, I think. <laughs> if they, uh, anyway, yeah. Okay. Do you want to take a quick little break? I sure do. Okay. Let's let's take a quick quick break, and we'll be back shortly. A couple minutes. <laughs> oh. Oh. Be right back.
Okay. It appears that we're back. <laughs> Hi, everybody. We're back. <laughs> so I was um, running, running the ticker yeah, tape and. Remember um, the little girl putting her fingers on the TV? They're back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's see, go back to the chat and see what else we got going on. Um, Fun and games. Oh, somebody's talking about. Pretty sure Gail huh? doesn't smoke, though I think she did at one time. She's a dietitian on big health and nutrition and big on health and nutrition. Um, yeah, I prefer to call myself a nutritionist. I don't like dietitian. But anyway, um, yes, that's very true. And I did smoke when I was younger. Um, I So I had the bad habit. <laughs> had a, took, quite, took quite a while. What do you mean, Chief? Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Uh, yeah, um, I, that was one of the hardest things I ever had to do to quit because I must have tried. I, I mean, tried. I, I stopped about six or seven times and started again because I thought I could bum one and just not, you know, and it, it wouldn't be a big deal, but it is a big deal. I can't, uh, I, I, don't bum, I don't bum cigarettes. <laughs> so, uh, cause I, 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 I guess I'm just don't have any self-control when I do that. So I don't do it <laughs> anyway. Okay. Let's see. What are we talking about? Um, uh, Let's see. What will happen to all the narcissist people? <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's uh, a mental disorder too. They'll probably be helped, right? <laughs> it depends on how deep the disease goes. If it's just a thought process, that'll be cured rather easily. It's not difficult for ET. Now, if you want to have some real fun, some of them are going to need their brains rewired. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay. Has anyone noticed the double layered clouds in the skies, almost like a 3D movie, including city like scapes that go upward to landscapes in one not normal? Been around a while and this is all new. Yeah. There are, they are, the, the, the clouds have been looking different. They really have. Yeah, I mean, good. some of them are look more like they did when, when I was a kid, as opposed to the kind from the chemtrails, but that's a whole different yeah, aspect. Yeah. He's talking Back about something really the, different. It's now, you remember seeing this, the, uh, I'm sure people have seen the pictures of the cities in the sky. Yeah. Uh, some of that is real cities in the sky. Now, that does not mean that they are there. It may be from a distant planet that that's coming from. You don't know. <laughs> that'll, give, that'll give you something homework. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah. Candidly, thanks for explaining that. Um, uh, apparently somebody asked if I smoke too. No, I don't. Thank you though. Um, I used to, so I don't judge anyone by that because I'd be a hypocrite if I did. So anyway, um, it is very hard to quit. There's no doubt about that. I saw my, you know, my mom quit first and then my dad, I didn't think he was ever going to quit, but eventually he did, but they have both passed. And by the way, they're being buried together this weekend in in Wisconsin. So uh, anyway, that's a whole nother story. Okay, here uh, is, should everyone with a mortgage payment stop paying to make the stinky bankers go down faster? <laughs> uh, no, you're going to see that this month, supposedly. The, the uh, bankers go away? Yeah, the, well, you have to understand, so to they got to have a bank and they got to have a system and when those things disappear, it kind of puts them in a trick bag. <laughs> wow. Let's see where else. What else we got here? More is famous stop paying. Uh, okay, here's somebody's asking this one. Um, are the people that are telepathic now or animal communicators, etc., are they already in 4D? No, not, no, not yet. 4D in here yet. So they're, transition. So they but just have these abilities already. Everybody, let me explain. Developed. It. Everybody, I don't yes. care who it is, has the capability right. to communicate with animals and plants. Period. And the communication can be uh, as uh, intricate as a discussion that we might have on this show, or it can be just a, "Wow, man, you're a beautiful flower." 
and you pet the petals a couple of times and the flower perks up and gets bigger, you know, uh, <laughs> play classical music to a plant and it tries to get to the music. Uh, the same with animals. Uh, so, you know, there is um, a world of communication uh, in the form of, in these forms that people uh, are sorely lacking. It used to be commonplace back in the day. It's not uh, commonplace at all now, like, you know, horse whisperer or whatever. Um, these are the people that uh, will probably be involved in communication uh, once the transition takes place. <laughs> Okay, somebody is asking here, Jeffrey Langstaff asked it, and then Sandy put it up too. Why are we not hearing about the transition all over? Why? What? I don't, I don't know what you mean by that. Um, <laughs> is that yeah, trying to nobody, but, nobody but us is talking about it. And nobody but us puts on a show and says, hey, guess what? Uh, you're going to have an acid drip in a few weeks. <laughs> uh, or, you know, some something. <laughs> I really think of that, Drake. You could be right there. Yeah. Well, you got you to understand. The ideology of uh, reality, you know, physical things like desks and computers and all that, uh, is to some extent an illusion. Bear that in mind and um, fasten your seatbelt. Put your tray in the upright position. <laughs> yeah. Somebody said, define, uh, Lenny, define transition. <laughs> transition. A change from one situation and condition to another one. Some people go backwards. Uh, this, for some people, there is no help. I think that some of the uh, politicians may have a real problem there. Uh, but transition means that you transpose one reality for another one in a uh, very smooth, orderly manner. This is to be a smooth, orderly transition. Nothing less will do. And it's not anything anybody has any control over because it's, um, I don't know, um, <laughs> I'm going to screw everybody's mind up. It's hereditary. It's in your DNA. Ooh. 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 Yeah. Ooh. You're already infected. How about that? <laughs> Okay, somebody, uh, oh, Soul says, I've had, I have heard that we are transforming the earth is, and the galaxy is too. Is this true? Yes. The, when you uh, put out a positive vibe, such as a nice positive thought, um, it alters the reality of this desk and the walls in here and the, computers that we're using and etc. So think of think of it this way. Uh, the parable of the basket of the um, candle under the basket. They put a can candle under a basket and they took the basket off and looked at that and they said, wow. And the teacher said, look how much darkness Fleeth the light. Now, I'm just going to leave it. Look it up. It's in the Bible. They got that. They get, they get some things right in the Bible. Not all of them, but some of them. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, interesting. Okay. Well, will there be both 4D positive and 4 negative? 4D negative. No. No. <laughs> what happens in the transition is that everybody uh, goes. However... Just because you want to go to 4D does not necessarily mean that you uh, reap the benefits of that. Uh, those people who are uh, absolute negative, they don't get to go anywhere. They're going to have a. Um, <laughs> they're going to. They're going to take a long walk off a short pier <laughs> and get all wet behind here. Uh, Somebody's asking if they have to pay taxes after selling a house. No. Okay. A lot of problems are going to be going away. I have empathetic abilities such as psychic. Okay. Um, and it depends on what you do with it as to whether or not that increases, decreases, or changes. In other words, if you're healing people, 
uh, put your hands on them or whatever, or um, even at a, at a distance, uh, looking looking at somebody's condition and adjusting things that impact that condition, then you're using the positivity. Will there be a benevolent UBI? What is a UBI? Universal Basic Income, I think. Oh, really? Um, you're not going to have a universal basic income. Uh, you're going to have uh, the food you need, the water you need, and things of that nature, a place to place to live. You know, those things will you will um, find uh, you can provide as well as others. When is the MSM <laughs> going to report real news? <laughs> oh, just uh, about a day or two before they get turned off. <laughs> <laughs> Think about it. CNN's got this big one. And all funny. of a sudden, plunk. They go, what happened? What happened? It don't, nothing works anymore. Ooh. Have the souls of uh, the animals and Gaia already transitioned to 5D? No. 5D? 4D is not here yet. yet. Go through 4D to get to 5. And then from 5, you get the quantum leap to 6. You remember 369? You ever hear that? Oh, yeah. well, 3. We're in 3 now. Oh, we're going as far as we can in 3. That means we've got uh, 4 and 5 and 6. <laughs> so we're just getting started. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, if, and believe me, the roller coaster ride is something else. Yeah. Okay. What's this question? Are we staying on this earth or are we going to another earth? Uh, we're staying here. The whole thing, including the whole of our solar system, is part of the uh, transition. Now, there are some people out there that are saying that if we stay on this earth, it's going. we're going to be crispy critters. That's no. what some no. people say no um that goes that comes from the origins of the great earth changes and those things have been largely negated and even in the possibility so the possible with the possibility gone uh it is extremely unlikely that you're going to have any kind of funky things gone that includes sea rise earthquakes great storms uh, and humanity blowing itself up with atomic weapons. <laughs> Just so you'll know. Okay, here's another one. How come we don't hear anything from Tolik anymore? Uh, he busy. He's, <laughs> he's busy? Is that what you said? Or he's he busy. I talked to uh, uh, the main science officer, which is by, goes by the name of Tolik. <laughs> um and that main science officer is busier than whatever, busier than a cat trying to cover it up on the interstate at rush hour, uh, <laughs> dodge, jump, run, you know, whatever. I used, to know, I used to know somebody used to say that all the time. Yeah, the, <laughs> the thing about this is quite simple. Um, I don't bother those people upstairs unless I got a specific, usually, unless I got a specific question. I don't have random uh, fun and games, uh, normal uh, conversation like we do with them, because I know what I know what they're up against, and it's it's uh, pretty amazing what they're doing. Okay, Drake. So we have the God Spark in our DNA. Yes, yes you got to. If you don't, you're not live, and if you ain't live, people can tell by the smell. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Yeah, well, dead people have a tendency to be stinking. Was Martin Luther a psyop? No, he was a real people, and he did real things, and he made some real changes, and he brought some stuff to light and enlightened a whole a bunch of people. <laughs> uh, I know what you were going to say. <laughs> when will Canada finally see Trudeau, Trudeau go bye bye? Uh, when you uh, grab him by his whatevers and toss him in the ocean and ask him to start swimming. 
See, like people are afraid to do that sort of thing. That's and that's what appears to be needed because, but these people are protected. You know, they're you can't just go up to them and snag them and in in. What do you do with 17 million people when they decide they're going to toss you in the ocean? The best thing to do uh, for an individual in that situation is to turn around, jump in themselves, and swim like crazy so the sharks don't get them. <laughs> oh, this is a okay. Do you, <laughs> I don't know where that came from. You have a joke to me. Palm tree laugh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, the, the the best thing I can tell you about that is a rat palm, that's a certain kind of palm tree, is ticklish. I don't care how you want to define it any other direction, but they're ticklish. The reason I say they're ticklish is I have seen what the rats do when they jump on the, on the palm and it starts giggling. There's your joke. Get, get you some rats and throw them at a rat palm. <laughs> Yeah, have, alrighty then. Okay, <laughs> moving right you along. Lived, you ain't lived until you see a palm tree bust up laughing. Now, more than that, certain storms down in Florida at, at certain places will actually allow the palm trees to dance. And you want to see something that's freaky? There you go. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm gonna have to think about that one. <laughs> All you gotta do is go down to Warm Middle Springs, Florida. That's down by Northport and wait for the proper storm and you'll see it. <laughs> How do I know? I've seen it. I didn't believe it either. I went and got a friend of mine and said, is that, is, is, is that for real? Am I, or am I seeing it? And he said, no, that's real. Hmm. Okay. Next question. Okay. What <laughs> about our, uh, what about our higher self guides, angels, guardians? Do we all have them? And how do we contact yeah. them? Well, when you get in touch with your higher self uh, through meditation uh, and certain exercises thereof, uh, you get in touch with your higher self. Your higher self is in touch with guys, angels, guardians, etc. So uh, <clears throat> we all got them. You just have to figure out how to say, hey, I'm here. Now, I'm going to suggest something. Uh, Gail was nice enough to post my books on her web page. And I will tell you right now that those books are study materials to get you there. <laughs> my my uh, website is rather limited because I haven't been able to keep up with everything. And I have asked if there was anyone out there that would help with that. But so far, there aren't okay. anyone who does. I guess everybody's more ready. <laughs> to criticize than to help but anyway um mm -hmm. it's uh <laughs> they're oh, still boy. there so anyway how do we see the hidden folk gnomes elves and leprechauns <laughs> you have to adjust your perception to a point where you don't have the limitation now the limitation is the same thing as remote viewing think about that very closely look up remote viewing and study it and it will give you the, the answers to that you will be able to you'll be able to see the little people you'll be able to see the uh um gremlins that don't exist <laughs> hmm okay well i sure think they exist sometimes i tell swear i can't find yeah. them. anyway when you're in your computer right <laughs> does time exist and smack him all around. <laughs> Does time exist in 4D and 5D? Uh, yes, but it is ET time or what would be known as um, universal time, which is a considerable difference in terms of the way we perceive time and the way it really is and the quanta that it exists as. <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, mm. Simple question, convoluted answer. Mm. Wow. Okay. Here's one for you. Mm. All right. You want to make a prediction? <laughs> no. The, the, take bets or anything like that. <laughs> the, the place where the place is, so you'll know the place where the uh, market, better known as the uh, as Wall Street, along with all the other markets, all of them uh, 
when uh, the Dow reaches 29.5 and goes under, it falls over. Now, you know, when that happens, take a guess. <laughs> but now you know. Mm. When it that's when it the fun begins. Now, what you're gonna have what you're gonna have in the process is the quantum banking system will replace the uh, system we have now with a system that is so far superior, everybody's gonna go to do what? You want me to hit the button sideways, you know, and all that, and they won't know quite what to do with it. That's why you got a guide to help you understand what you can and can't do and how to go about it. <laughs> wow. Okay. We have a long holiday weekend coming up here, don't we? Yes, we do. And I'm going to do a show on Saturday just for the fun of it. On your, 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 um, blog My talk radio. Talk. Yeah. Okay. Most Okay, when will this Biden nightmare go away? <laughs> <laughs> um, that should happen shortly, either shortly before or at the time of the transition. Now, I'm going to give you an idea as to what my uh, show is going to be about. <laughs> Nobody likes the Supreme Court. They're a bunch of fanatics and weirdo freakuses and like that and Dismantling the less dangerous accusation of road justices. Ooh. I'm gonna have fun with that. I'm gonna I'm gonna twist it into some politicians in such a manner they ain't felt anything like that in forever. I'm gonna have fun with it. Let's see whether or not I get tossed off of the air. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, you know. Well, I didn't get to see that, so I can't really comment. Um. Here's a question for you. Did Lucifer turn to the light or is he still with the dark side? Um, okay. Um, being the light bearer, he couldn't have been with the dark side to begin with and never was. Uh, I personally know Lucifer. Mm -hmm. And Lucifer is not the <clears throat> devil everybody thinks he is. Um it's uh, it's it's like um, the way the mainstream media treats Trump. It's very similar. If you take a close look at, at it all, it even parallels it. So. So are you saying that Luciferianism is a good thing then? Uh, if it's the honest Luciferianism, yes. If it's not, no. You have. What's the difference? Well, you get you got white and you got black magic. Just that simple. Uh, something is either, and there's a, a split right down the middle, uh, similar to the uh, uh, the little uh, thing we have over here that, that, that is between my picture and your picture, the separation. It is as stark as you can imagine between good and evil. Uh, if somebody was really tr truthfully or truly evil, um, it'd be obvious. However, when uh, the church exercises its uh, ability to uh, denigrate something or someone or an entity, uh, there's little that people can do to ferret out the truth if they absolutely believe it, just like our mainstream media. Bear this all in mind, because all of this is going to be brought out in detail uh, for public consumption, both in the classes and on the information pages that are going to come up. <laughs> How about that? Mm. Yeah, deep stuff. Noah, how long can you tread water? But, 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 boss. <laughs> mm. Mm, what? Let's see. I'm trying to find the right question here. I probably missed some, so I'll have to go oh, yeah. back. Charlie Ward said there are 6 billion quantum phones ready to go out to everyone at no cost. More than that. Hmm. <laughs> um, he just gets a number. He just gets a number. It's, it's more like 600 billion. How many people we got on this planet? 
Well, you got to have an extra one in case somebody screws it up and drops it in the toilet or whatever, right? Therefore, six hundred billion would be closer to correct. Okay, I have somebody who wanted a question answered. Only I don't know where it is. So, um, Doyle, if you have a question that I missed, I'm I can't really find it right now. So why don't you just put it up again? Um, just before the break, that's okay. Here's Doyle Wayne at the top of the chat. Somebody's asking me about Patty um, and if I'm going to have her on again. Uh, she's been very sick and I don't like bothering her. Um, she needs to get well. Um, and uh, we'll deal with it when the time is appropriate. So there are a lot of other sources out there as well. I know she's <laughs> different, but she'll she'll be better than you think. Dark outpost, Ben Shona, to be putting, oh boy, out more and more disinfo. I don't listen to the show anymore. Ooh. Hmm. 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 Okay. You're gonna have, you're gonna have a a, a plethora of. Uh, good guys and bad guys, and the good guys are going to shine. I mean, and I mean that literally. White outfits and a whole bit. Uh, the bad guys, not so much. They're going to be sort of like a, a weak shadow <laughs> in a dark room. Wow, this is something I didn't know. Kent said that Trump was bad and died on dark out on the and that he died on Dark Outpost show. Now Kim Guggen was putting that out too that the real Trump is dead. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah. I think he was pretty well protected. I wouldn't think he would be dead, but and then somebody says, "Well, he died of cancer." Well, I think he would have access to a med bed, but I, you know. <laughs> anyway. Um, uh, let's see what else we got here. Uh, <laughs> oh boy! What you see a question? I don't see. Normal. Uh, Somewhat normal, but again before the new year, we hope so. Let's see. Is the moon? Oh, here's one. What's this one? Drake, is your free energy device that you have been working on ready to go out yet? My heavy is built on that building thing. No, it, uh, I'm going to make sure there's no glitches before I send it to anybody. Okay. Mm. In short, it's the way it's configured. It can't hurt anything living dead or otherwise. Uh Oh, Oh, somebody's asking this question. If someone is on trial for murder and he, and he is guilty, or what if he's not guilty? When in transition, when we transition, will the trial continue or will the murder disappear? Um, the person didn't die anyway, but in, I don't some, know. in some cases, yes. In some cases, no. Um, there'll be a whole bunch of people that have been killed, murdered, or whatever whether they're on the battlefield or whatever, who will be re-given life. That's the second part of the transition nobody knows about. And that's all I can say about it. Hmm. hmm. Well, it, it doesn't matter how a person dies. They still transition. Um, they, they don't, there's no death. So um, anyway, <laughs> uh, the real Tony Tell, so to speak. Yeah, oh, yes, indeed. <laughs> okay. Sent some question above from Rumble. <laughs> oh, boy. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm looking for. Set her brain coming out of her ear. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, Kerry Cassidy took on um, um, Kim Guggen and was basically calling her out on some of the things she said. 
especially when it was concerning uh, Wano Sabin. Uh, people are um, seem like even in the light worker community or perceived light workers, um, they're they're backbiting each other or they're they're um, they seem well, to fight what did you say? What? What'd you say? I say yeah, they all y'all need to quit it. Oh, I agree. Yeah. Be I don't do it. <laughs> I'm something you can be supportive about and go for it. Yeah, it seems like people love to be the always want to be critical instead of trying to be helpful and encouraging and supportive. You know, finding fault all the time isn't exactly or criticizing and complaining isn't exactly very high vibrational. Um so anyway. Yeah. Let's see here. What do I got here? Ooh. What was this oh, one? If a person is wrongly accused of a crime and sent to jail, will they be exonerated? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Um, I've heard that only one in three people are really human. <laughs> um. I don't know about that one, but um, let's see. What percentage of humans is left? That's like, oh, we've heard there. Yes. A non per people clones. I think that stands for star seeds, light workers, and humans. What percentage is humans? What percentage is humans left? Uh, three quarters of the population at minimum. <laughs> okay, true like well, true light workers don't fight. That's true. I agree. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Light workers got the best best there is when it when it comes to taking on the bad guys. Instead of <laughs> trying to take on each other to boost themselves up, that's all ego. Yeah. How many um, actually mm -hmm. Oh, wait a minute. We kind of answered that already. Exact, yeah. Sorry. Um, non players in our solar system, I'd be fine. Uh, I think I missed this. Is this a question? All people on this planet are not human. Talk about the skin stretchers and extras. Billions on this planet are soulless. Uh -huh. But you have to understand, soul is life force. It's the spirit that they lack. Bear that in mind. <laughs> uh oh, Wild Hair is asking me a question in the chat. Oh, Oof. okay. Well, let me see if I can find it. Is so, that Drake, Drake, what are you going to do after the transition? You're going home. <laughs> well, I explain. You, you really want to know, Wild Air? Here's the answer. I can't go home. My planet was blown up by the uh, uh, same nasties that uh, uh, put the magic on this planet. That's still controlling us until the transition. Um, so, I will be a wanderer. Hmm. What's this say? Is Trump a transition specialist? <laughs> <laughs> no. You would like to be, but he can't get there. He okay, don't here's, another, here's another good one, too. So the overwhelming amount of people in prison are there for nonviolent crimes. Will they be released? And even yeah. in, a, in some of the sentences, the length of them is just so ridiculous. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Um, we caught people, him with uh, two two. Uh, two, uh, uh, you know, them cigarette thingies, uh, and, and those joints, and he got 50 years of peace for him. Oh my god, yeah, I can't, it's just unbelievable. And some See, of the okay. well, judges one. that gave out sentences like that, they need to spend some time where they sentence people. No, no, no. What you need to do is forgive the forgive the crime because there wasn't one. Now that things are legalized, <laughs> very simple. 
Oh, so it's okay that the judges did that then. Is that what you're saying? No, I didn't excuse the judge. People that are in a position of power that judge other people, that control other people's lives, will be held to answer and account for what they've done. Every last of it. So if a judge is does something because they didn't like the politics of somebody, uh, he's going to find out the hard way what it's like to work in a salt mine or some other nice place. I'd probably put him to cleaning out house, outhouse pits. <laughs> Well, is there something significant on September 24th, 2022? Yeah. You'll see it when it happens. Uh, <laughs> that's all you're going to say about it, I assume? Well, you have to you have to understand that if I if I go into predication, uh, sometimes I can't turn it off and it keeps me up all night. I'm not going to let that happen. Okay, is there something significant on September 24th? Yes, because the next month is October. And let's see here. Uh, that's, uh, let's see, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, that's nine days before the transition is supposed to happen. Hmm. So it might screw something up if I answer that. Oh, okay. So we'll just leave it that way. <laughs> okay. Oh. Will they finish building homes with wood or will home building come to a halt until we have hemp or new technologies? Uh, it'll be a combination. Um, certain people will have the, uh, the option um, to have their homes redone in the new building materials. Uh, the new building materials are about uh, anywhere from 10 to 100 times as efficient as what we have now. So wouldn't be a bad deal. Uh-oh. I just turned into a pumpkin. Why? What happened? Look what oh. time it is. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my yeah, we got to call it. Ooh. Yeah, I got to quit this because otherwise, yeah, we have problems. I gotta um, quit. It's got to be before two, less than two hours. So we're going to have don't get to. The, she don't get this excited normally. It just, you know. <laughs> we're gonna, <laughs> very funny, Drake. All uh -huh. right. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, anyway, everyone, we, we love you guys and we appreciate you coming and listening um, to us and asking your wonderful questions. And I thank you so much for um, anyone and everyone who has helped me along the way, um, whether that be um, the dot connector um, or Paul or Dean or anybody, or I, I really appreciate it very much. And just remember, this is listener supported and I can't do it without you. So thank you for participating. Thank you for being here. And thank you, Drake, for your entertaining <laughs> <laughs> and question answering abilities. <laughs> You're welcome. Just be sure, everybody, do me a favor. Don't get it caught in a zipper. And it's not worth it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> on that note, I think it's time to go. <laughs> Bye, right. y'all. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Love you guys. See you soon again.